It's a crazy project. What? You're yeah. kidding me. Hey Best Pally, I'm Allie. And ever since middle school science class, I just thought it would be so cool to have one of those life-size skeletons. I mean, I have one. I, another one. Well, I'm an adult now, and I make the rules of my world, so... A life-size skeleton is now on its way to my home. Now I just have to brainstorm on what this video is for you to justify why the crap that's happening. Woohoo! I mean, obviously I need one because... <laughs> need one because outrageous, but having a regular skeleton isn't outrageous enough. It says do not open with knife. Well, of course not, I don't want to scare him. Can't wait to meet you, Dr. Bones! Ooh, this is already creepy. What the heck? Now, uh... Oh, we're definitely taking the head off. I thought I'd be assembling, but it turns out I am decapitating. <laughs> okay, get your job back on. Okay. You know what I'm doing, right? I mean... I have to. <clears throat> Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him, Horatio. This is cool and totally not a dumb idea. Oh, he's missing a tooth, what the heck? Wait, I found it! It's a little bit of re-toothing on the canine. Good as new. I'm already having too much fun. Let's finish building you, shall we? <laughs> oh, look at him! Oh, you look great. I mean, I'm sure this is what God felt like when he made me. <laughs> My camera's having trouble figuring out which face to focus on. Do we look at the talkative one or Allie? Okay, high five. Now, how do we level you up into outrageous? Do I make you fuzzy, glow in the dark? Do I use you to make music? What's that? Oh my God, that's a fantastic idea. I just have to learn how to guild. We got it. Why just have a life-size skeleton when you can have a 24 karat gold life-size skeleton that you covered in gold leaf yourself all 206 bones. I'm gonna figure this out. Obviously you're coming with me. Hey, get your seatbelt on, sir. <laughs> Shut up. What the heck? <laughs> We're doing the can-can together. This is a gold leaf store, which is totally a thing that I knew about. Hi. Hi, I'm Allie. I'm Larry. Are you feeling all right? <laughs> you don't even care about him. High five. Look, tell me what you think you want to do. Well, yeah, I would like to see um, if I could cover every circle. With real gold, food. it will take you a lifetime. A lifetime? You'll, you'll probably end up looking like this when you're done. <laughs> we certainly have enough leaf for you to cover this, so you have no experience. No, but. But. I have. There's a, always a but. Exceptional level of confidence. <laughs> okay, are you an artist? Yeah. And what's the end game? Um, I think I already got it, honestly. The video's the end game and you are gold. Um, yeah. gold. It's a crazy project. I gotta say, I don't think anybody's ever, what? ever brought a skeleton in here before. You're kidding me. <laughs> There's a glue, which we call sizing. If you have spraying capabilities, do you? No, no, can you take something liquid <laughs> and transform it and spray it? Oh, no, I don't have it. What's the end game? Like, really, why do you want it in real gold? Why not? be a happier person? <laughs> because you can just spray <laughs> Isn't it. Isn't that the end goal of everything? So you can be a happier person? So you can have, like, a university student, and this is for a project for a professor? What professor would be like, bring me a gold skeleton? I'm shock. You're shocked? I'm in shock. Well, Larry was exceptionally helpful, except for the part where he said that my brilliant idea would be extremely difficult and I should reconsider. That's not going to be getting through my noggin. But I am now much more nervous about being able to pull this off. And I should probably start with an area that you wouldn't be looking at as much, you know, kind of hidden in the back or something. Definitely figure out how to do it first before I do the face. Anyway, like I said, I have an abundance of confidence, so this will be fine. <laughs> okay, he seems tacky enough. <laughs> ah, he's about to get tackier. He lost a tooth, so I guess we'll be gilding this separately. And now for the genuine 24 karat gold leaf. Oh, that is lovely. I'll just take you off and turn you into scum. <laughs> oh, I'm nervous. And I've already blown it. <laughs> I wanted to move my camera, and this happened. Ah, okay. Let's just... Get you up on the forehead. <laughs> oh man. Boop. This is not the perfect square that I was intending. Oh my goodness. Well, that is satisfying. Wow. I guess I'll keep going. Second square is gonna be way better. Got some eyebrow tweezers, cause that's probably gonna help. Oh man, this stuff is delicate. No, don't breathe, Spags. 
Oh crap. Just sticking it on. This is definitely gonna be a patch job. I'm totally getting better at this. Okay, now I did say painting it yellow would hide the holes. <laughs> Obviously I didn't do that. <laughs> Fine, there aren't going to be any holes. Here we go. That is a square. Almost all of the surface area used. Heh, I am gilding. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm not close to done, but it is already looking ridiculously cool. Oh, like way better than I imagined. Just gotta fill in all these holes that I intentionally left there. Oh, I gotta give you a POV of this because it's pretty satisfying. This is what it's like to be a gilder. Do I need to be doing the back of his skull and behind his teeth? I mean, it's weird you're asking that question and not do I need to be doing any of this? The human skull has so many nooks and crevices and it turns out it takes a whole lot of work and time to get gold into them. I started trying to cover all these tiny white spaces two and a half hours ago and it only looks slightly better. And finally, his brain case is complete. Oh no, wait, we need your gold tooth. Open up and let's get in it. Calm down, you're fine. Here we go. Oh, it looks crazy cool. I mean, crazy and cool. But holy crap, that was eight hours for just this tiny little part. It's so hard to work with this stuff. You can't breathe, you can't touch, you can't put your hands anywhere near it, it'll just stick to you. Gilding is rough. I'm a little concerned about what this video is gonna be now. I tried to make a gold skeleton or I Successfully made a gold skull, okay. Let's see how he's looking. Wow, super weird, okay. The well, human body is about seven heads tall, unless you're a superhero or a Michelangelo's David. So that's one seventh done times the eight hours it took me. That's, uh, you know, just a couple more hours. Hey buddy, you wanna give me a hand? Now that I've sized you up. Part of the reason this took so long, besides the fact that I've never done it before, is that I was being super careful not to waste any of the actual 24 karat gold. I don't know if that was clear, but the suckier you are at this, the more you waste. Although I did accidentally gild my table a little bit. I'm pretty proud that I ended with 10 sheets left more than Larry thought it would take, so clearly I'm a natural, but I'm totally prepared for a speed round now where it's just gonna go super fast because I'll be wasteful. I'm switching to fake. Oh yes, the skull is 24 karat, but the rest of them will not be. And if you're mad about that, you should consider joining my Patreon so that I can do outrageous things to the fullest with your funds. And thank you to my current patrons for making the skull happen. That's awesome. You know I invest your support well. You are the reason that there is more outrageous in the world. Ugh, this is impossible to work with. Okay, I was trying to show you the difference between the two. Shh, calm down. And then I screwed up some sheets of the real gold and now I'm gilded on my thumb. Although this is edible. It tastes like I'm loaded. Don't laugh, Spags! Oh my god! <sighs> anyway, this per sheet, this tiny little thing, costs $2.80. And then this big old one here of the fake stuff, this is only nine cents. That's why we're switching. Let me just get this put away for future outrageous. Now I can just truly go for it, giving him the golden touch. <laughs> oh man, that is cool. I can definitely tell the difference just working with it. I mean, emotionally. I am much less nervous and I feel like the amount of anxiety that goes into an artwork subconsciously shows to the viewer at the end. And so that's why using the gold is better. And also probably why you all love my YouTube channel. Heck yeah, it only took two hours. That's like a quarter of a skull. And it did still turn out handsomely. Ooh, it's gonna be cool watching all the pieces come together. Hey, looking good. All right, although, this is the same as the other one, so I feel like I could just do a copy-paste. Hey, it worked! And totally didn't take me another two hours! Now I just gotta do this middle section, which is probably gonna be the hardest part, torso it seems. Ugh, now I know why Larry said I should get a spray gun. That was rough. I'm sweating. 
And I can't even turn on my AC because I'm concerned about my gold flying away. Which is a very first world problem. Super relatable, am I right? Don't you hate when you're a little overheated because you're worried about your gold flakes? Let me know in the comments. Looks like I should probably do this section standing, which ironically is going to be difficult on my spine. It's time to make another opulent mess. Pretty satisfying putting a whole sheet on. Kind of like wallpapering in the worst way. And if you can't tell, this stuff is way easier to work with than 24 karat gold. So that's just a tip for all of you following along at home, making your own gold skeletons. And now my outfit is looking pretty snazzy. Got a solid mess going on here. It's funny that I used his box to catch the flakes. Uh-oh. Returns will only be accepted in original package. Guess I can't return him now. Although it would be funny to send him back gold. I've always wanted to buy a bunch of plain shirts at Target and then screen print them with my own stuff and return them like I got them that way. Anyway, back to the engoldening. I definitely don't need to fill in all the tiny spots that you probably can't see. But if you're gonna be stupid, you should be impressively stupid. Okay, so it's another six hours to do this part. I would make another pun, but I don't wanna be Courtney. Now we've got left are the legs, which I've already done the arms, and these are just big stupid arms with no thumbs. It is right about this percentage into every one of my projects where I'm like, what am I doing? Well, let's finish! If you're like a paleontologist on a planet where the dirt is made of gold and the animals are also made of gold. That was another two hours for the two legs. Clearly I've gotten faster at this. Probably because my neatness has disintegrated. Ah, oh, wait, I did both legs and I should have copy-pasted! My full video pallies will get that reference. And I guess, welcome to everyone who just joined right now because I skipped ahead to see the reveal. Let's do it! I can't believe I spent 20 hours on this. And weird that it seemed like only one day. Maybe I inhabit an alternate universe where time has no meaning and I have an infinite amount just to pursue the ridiculous. Or maybe I hate picking out more than one outfit per video. Man, I feel intimately acquainted with this guy now. I've scrutinized every little surface. Like, did you know how weird a tailbone looks? But also elegant, am I right? It's coming together! I guess I can put this back on now. I took it off because I didn't want to accidentally make a gold ring. That would be too sensible. Now for the final piece. I don't even want to touch it. Ugh. It's weird that I've had a use for the term unbeheading in two separate videos on my channel. He is complete? How does he look? Oh my goodness. Holy crap. You are stupid. I mean, spectacular. Wow. Just... Wow, I don't think I've owned anything ostentatious before. Give us a little turn. How do you feel, buddy? <laughs> oh man, this is in my house. You know that feeling like when you're dead, but also with pizzazz? Like this is the most tasteful nude you've ever seen. Every part is completely unnecessarily covered. I even did the bottom of his feet. Head to toe soul player. Someone please tell me you get that joke. I like can't stop looking at him and touching him, which I probably shouldn't be. Oh, hello, pleased to meet you in your final form, sir. Guess you probably need a name. I'm gonna go with Midas. Also, drop your arm if you want to give them a glamour montage. <laughs> No one told me it was gonna be a gold party. Give me a sec. I just wanna fit in with my new roommate. What's that? Oh no, I didn't seal you off with a top coat. I'm trying to figure out if I keep him conductive and then when I touch him it would cause an electric current and each bone could be a different note and make him a synthesizer. I don't know, that might happen. Subscribe if you wanna see that. And if you enjoyed seeing me make outrageous with a material I've never used before, then you'll probably like my Cardboard of Liberty video the highest execution of stupidity. Hey Best Pally, I'm Allie, and I've been saving Amazon boxes since the US started our stay-at-home orders. This is what I've been living around for three months. And since I'm still cardboard,